Hi everyone and welcome in this video about how to pack your bags for a five month trip. I first want to thank everyone so much for the replies I got on my two minute video about my trip from Amsterdam to India. I can't believe how nice everyone was and the messages you sent me it was just just really nice and i really loved it and that's why i'm so motivated to start sharing more of my stories and sharing more of my tips that i learned during my traveling i have been traveling since i was 18 and i'm 27 now <laughs> and i'm still traveling at the moment i'm also converting uh, a fox iron crafter into a camper van to go live full time in and travel around europe so if you want to see that please also check out those videos it's a lot of work but i love to do it but this video is about how to pack your bags for a five month trip or longer or a little bit shorter doesn't really care <laughs> i first want to tell you you need less than you think you need don't overpack because you're gonna be sorry because it's heavy and it's all in your back you don't want to carry around stuff you don't wear make sure that you pack right that you pack the stuff you need especially take care of the climates the climates in between amsterdam and india they changed like crazy in croatia it was like hot weather i was like swimming and then i was in russia and irkutsk where i need to go buy gloves then i went to mongolia where it was snowing out of nowhere and then i end in india where it's hot again but you can't wear uh like tops and shorts because it's not respectful you need to always pack smart buy stuff that are smart don't buy only clothes that look nice and that make you feel look pretty buy clothes that are useful and make you feel look pretty because that's also really important so in this video i will tell you everything about my backpacks that i have about the clothing that i packed and my gadgets because i have some gadgets that if i don't have them while i'm traveling i will be like lost i mean there are some stuff that are just so useful like this and this and but that's in the end so first about my backpacks i have a 65 liter backpack and i'm really happy with this size it is quite a big bag but i like to travel with my own sleeping bag because if you are in a location that the bed doesn't look that nice or you are in a train and you know you want your own bag to just to make sure that you will never be cold and that you feel clean next to a sleeping bag i have a really thin cotton bag that i take everywhere uh, but sometimes i don't use it to sleep in but i use it to like hang it up in a train to have more privacy and stuff like that so it's just like a nice thing to have with you all the time so i have a north face 65 liter bag uh, I really suggest you go to a shop and try on different bags. I know in the corona times it's not easy but it's so important that you just try the bag and that it feels comfortable and it because I have quite uh, some stiff muscles in my neck and if the bag is too much on my muscles if it pressures too much here I will be in so much pain after like 10 minutes so my bags need to be a little bit more on the side and that, that small things you can only figure out when you actually go to the shop and you try the bags out. So don't just buy a bag because it looks nice. Try them on. You will be really happy you did afterwards. Next to my 65 liter backpack, I have a small day pack that is basically a camera bag. So I travel with uh, a Nikon D5200. I will make another video about what cameras I use. Uh, but and a GoPro so that stuff you just don't throw in a bag because it, it's expensive material so I wanted the proper bag so that is why I found this backpack the low pine uh, hash bag and what it makes so nice is that the back of the bag has a hole in it so you can open it and you can put your camera gear in there so you can also not open it from the front so no one can actually steal your camera out of your bag if you're just walking and on the top of the bag you have more than enough space to put uh, your money your passport your phone and in the front of the bag there's still enough space for even uh, a tablet i always put my uh, diary in there because i'm really happy with that bag especially because it has so much space because if you don't have a camera bag that is big enough to have your camera and your like personal stuff 
you need to walk around with three bags and that is just too much that's gonna be annoying and then the most important part is the clothing i know it sounds a bit strange but you really don't need that much clothing i know women love to wear a lot of different clothing but once you are used to that you don't have that much clothing you actually accept it and you just you just roll with it you just accept it and you just wear the clothes you have and that's all you got and you actually start to love it but it's really important to think about what clothing you have in your bag don't just put all the nice looking clothes in your backpack and be like yeah that's gonna be fine now on trips like this like from amsterdam to india you have all the climate so you need to adjust your clothing to that make sure you have layers so that means that you can have a top like this one you know like with the fin a t-shirt a t-shirt with long arms like this one and then something like a fleece and a wind stopper if you are like hiking you can take off first your wind stopper and you can take off your fleece and then you still have your t-shirt with long arms it's just important to layer up if you go into nature because you don't know what nature is going to do and that is actually why i bought this jacket this is like a north face jacket uh, inside as you can see it has a fleece so what you can do is you can just turn it into it, zip it out now it's a fleece with a wind stopper i can take them apart and then i have two things and that worked so well i really can recommend that jacket it's really nice it's also which jacket it is it's in the blog i will just say now what i had in my bag i had two shorts one jeans and one like a fabric two jumpsuits I love jumpsuits, they are the best. You can just put one on and you can just live your life. You don't need to have all these different parts and stuff. So I had two of them and I was basically wearing them all the time. Like <laughs> they were my, my life. Two t-shirts of merino wool. And merino wool is amazing because it doesn't take smell. So that means that your t-shirt will not smell quickly. If you have like cheap, cheap material clothing, uh, it will quickly take the smell and you need to wash your clothing every day. So then I had a, t a normal t-shirt and a t-shirt with long sleeves. I had a blouse with short, uh, short arms and I actually had that for in the hot countries where they appreciate it if you, wear, uh, if you cover your shoulders like in India. I wore it all the time because then I'm covered. Also for socks, I had merino wool socks. I took two bikinis, thick legging, pants made of cotton. So that was nice in warm countries. If you don't feel comfortable wearing shorts, you can wear that. And a merino wool buff, the jacket with the fleece inside. So that is actually basically everything I got. Um, on my way, I bought some stuff. Like I bought gloves and I bought... a jeans that I later actually cut into a short. <laughs> the shoes, I brought one pair of hiking boots. I had Tevas. I loved my Tevas. I was basically wearing them all the time. They're just so comfortable. You have a proper grip. It's just perfect. And a pair of sneakers. I need to say I wear most of the time my hiking boots or my Tevas. I don't really wear my sneakers. So maybe actually next time on a trip, I will not bring it. Extra, I take a, a, tra a travel towel, just a, a tiny one. I don't use any big towels. If you really want one, most hostels, you can actually rent a towel uh, for like a few euro. One thing that is quite difficult to decide, if you, especially if you go traveling for the first time, what should I take in my toilet bag and what kind of toilet bag should I take? So I have this one. Ta-da! I love it because everything fits in it. It has a hook so you can hang it up, especially in those hostel showers. Most of the time you don't have anything to like lay your stuff. So you just want to hang it up and you're done. You can roll it up really nicely to this size. A little bit smaller and you can like do this. And then you put it in your backpack like this. It's super tiny, super nice. I love it. I got it for my birthday. So toothbrush. I travel with electric toothbrush. I think there's a lot, a lot of Dutch people you will meet on your way and will be also using electric toothbrushes. So it fits in here. Shampoo. I love nature and I hate plastic. So that's why I use these plastic as possible. I know this is not really good, but I compensate on everything. And I'm actually trying to find uh hats from 
this electric toothbrush made of bamboo. I didn't find it yet for this brand, but I hope soon they will actually bring it out. Then uh, soap bars I put in tins like this. I got this tin from Lush. I actually don't use their soap anymore. I use the soap from a Dutch brand, but I use any soap bar if I'm traveling, so long it's a bar and not out of a plastic bottle. So I use soap bar, soap bar for shampoo and a soap bar for conditioner. You can just put it in this tin. And I had like three of these tins in here and my toothbrush and my sunscreen. My toothpaste is not toothpaste, but is dental tabs. So I'm not using toothpaste anymore. I'm using these tabs and I will show you one. Show you one. Look, this is what you have. It is a little pill. You chew it and then you just brush and it works perfectly. My teeth are fine. I love it. And it's so much better because one of these bags has 128 tabs in it. And it is the same as using two tubes. So that's where I cut out plastic bottles and plastic tubes for toothbrushes. Then another thing that is quite an issue as a female traveler is that you want to shave. That's why I use this safety razor. It is actually designed by a Dutch brand. It looks super nice and it's better for the environment. So you get razors with it. They are little cute envelopes and you just pop them in there and you can just sh shave. So instead of taking all those plastic razors with you, take one of these, put these razors in and they fit also in this bag. And then I take some pills like headache pills, diarrhea pills, uh, uh, allergy pills because I have sinuses sometimes. So that's basically all I put in my toilet bag because I don't use makeup. I don't use creams or anything like that. The only cream I use is sunscreen. So packing light for me in my toilet bag is really easy. But if you use makeup, try to use reusable makeup pads and stuff like that. It saves you a lot of space and it's better for the environment. That was everything about the toilet bag. And now I want to tell you everything about my gadgets because I have some gadgets that I really can't travel without because it makes my life so much easier, so much safer. My lock. So this is the best lock you can have because you pull it out and then you can lock it in and then you can tighten it and you can just, it's just so easy because where I use this for is when I have my bag and I want to go to sleep in a train I put it around my back, I put it even to the zipper and then I connect it to something at the bed. I don't need to worry about if I'm going to wake up and my bag is still there. In my day pack, I have all those expensive stuff, my cameras, my passport, my money, my credit card. So you don't want to lose that. So that's why this is so awesome. You can just hook it up to anything and no one can rough up, run off with your bag. Next to that, it's it's just also nice to have uh, in a hostel because sometimes you need to lock your own locker and then you can just do it with this. Just easy. Then my next gadget is in the food section. It's this, my spork. So it is really cool. It has a knife, it has a fork and it has a spoon. I don't use the knife on this one because as you can see, it's not that awesome to cut with, but I use it especially for the spoon and a fork. It's just so good to have with you. You use it more than you think, especially in the trains. If you make your noodles, you want to eat it with your fork. And together with my spork, I have my Letterman Wave Plus. I always take my Letterman everywhere. First I had a swish knife i loved it but they didn't have a scissor and it didn't have pliers and it sounds maybe strange but you use a scissor a lot i swear you use it a lot and the pliers is really handy when i was in a hostel once you know those knobs to put the shower on they broke off so i could actually not take a shower but i had my letterman i could took the pliers out and i could just switch the water and the water was on like, it's like stuff like that. It just makes your life easier to have it with you. So that's my story about my Letterman. I really recommend for everyone to take one. And then, next to that, it's really important if you like sleeping. This is my pillow. 
So you blow it up. I will do it. There you go. As you can see it is so comfy. So it's really nice if you are in a bus and you and you're laying against a window that you have this nice like pillow that you can chill on. And when I was taking a bus from Kathmandu to India, uh, I actually slept for five hours on this pillow. I can't believe still because the roads are like this and like that. So I couldn't believe that I actually slept nice. It's just, it's just nice if you can put your face on something and you can just sleep. It's just good to have your own pillow in hostels. It's just more chill. And the good thing is it fits in this little bag. Then the next gadget I have is my own bottle. This is a glass bottle. It doesn't really care what kind of material it's made of. But this one is made in uh, Germany and I really like it because it's also made in Europe. Um, it's called Soul Bottles. Every bottle has their own like team. So this one says, what if you are right and they are wrong? I mean, I like that. <laughs> so they have different quotes, different paintings like sometimes they have like boats or the tree of life and it's better for the environment because if you buy plastic bottles everywhere it's just really not cool what i do a lot when i travel is like i boil the water and then i uh, make it into drinking water because in a lot of hostels you can boil water but check the country check if it's okay like in india i will i hate to say it but i will recommend just buying water don't boil it i don't think that's even enough i <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Then another travel gadget. Not really gadget. It's just super nice to pack your stuff in your backpack in these things. So what I always do is like I have one for uh, t-shirts. I have one for bikinis, underwear, uh, pants. No, pants I don't put in here. But anything. I have all these different bags. So if I need a t-shirt, I just pull this bag out and then I have all my t-shirts together. I don't fold up my clothes, I roll them up like this and then I put them in the bag, you see? And then I roll them up all like this and don't buy those fancy expensive travel bags. This is actually a laundry bag. So you can also just buy a laundry bag and put it in here like that. Even have a zipper. Another really useful thing is the folding bowl. So together with the spork and the letterman, that is just your whole setup to eat during a long trip in a, on a train or something like that. I love to cook. Even when I was in the Trans-Siberian Express, I had all these vegetables and the woman that was like super nice at like taking care of our cabins, she was like, are you like vegetarian or why are you eating so much vegetables? And I was like, I just love to eat fresh food. I can't, I can't just eat those two minute noodles out of those plastic things. So that's why I brought all those fresh things. So you can just press them together and you can store them away. It doesn't take any space. It's super nice. Actually, after like the first day in the train, I cut a hole in it with my knife, but it wasn't a problem. It doesn't leak because the silicone, like if you open it, it closes. So it was no problem. I was like, no. After the first day, I cut a hole in it, but I was lucky nothing nothing went on with that. And then another thing that's really, really useful is to bring your own cup. And then bring your own cup with also a lid on it, so that if you're walking in a train, the water doesn't go all over the place. Most of the trains in China as well, in Trans-Siberian Express, have a really big tap with uh, boiling water. So you can always make your own tea or noodles. Make sure you buy a double walled one and not just a cup because you're going to need a double wall because otherwise you're going to burn your hands the whole time. So yeah, I was really happy with that. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date about all the solo female traveler videos I make and get all the tips and stories uh, about all the countries I visit. And also stay up to date about the van build because the van is not ready yet, but soon we'll be living full time in the van in Europe and I can't wait for that. Thank you. Bye.